I found a new recipe in Bon Appetit magazine that I thought it would be fun to try. Butternut squash muffins. I almost have all the ingredients. That would be a little substitution. And I'm not going to do it in muffin shape because I just don't feel like washing my muffin tin. It's just a pain. I'm going to make it like in a big cake shape because it's just easier, but it's muffins. Have you ever heard of butternut squash muffins? I had not, but it makes sense because we cook with pumpkin and the pumpkin and the butternut squash are friends. I would say even cousins, probably cousins. Alrighty, in the bowl here we have two cups of graham flour. The recipe just calls for two cups of flour, but this is what I had. To the flour, we are going to add two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of kosher salt. The recipe calls for two thirds of a cup of packed brown sugar, and I just used up my brown sugar the other day, so I am using this Domino maple flavored granules that I got couponing. Give that a little stir around. Now, the recipe calls for two beaten eggs, but I want to make this vegan, and plus I only have one egg in the house right now, so we're going with your flax eggs, where you put a couple of teaspoons of flax in a bowl, and you add water and let it sit, and it makes this kind of slimy thing that will function as an egg. Now, of course, I couldn't find flax in the house, so we're making our flax eggs out of chia seeds, which I'm just going to say will have the same fantastic effect. We'll put in our two cups of shredded butternut squash. The recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, which of course I don't have, and so I am using almond milk. It calls for 10 tablespoons of melted butter, so I am using 10 tablespoons, which is about a third of a cup of oil. Here we have two tablespoons of peeled grated fresh ginger. The recipe calls for three quarters cup of shredded unsweetened coconut, my coconut happens to be sweetened. And three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans. Those are my dumpster pecans. Alrighty, let's stir it all up. This seems extremely thick, possibly because I didn't use real eggs. I'm going to add a little bit more almond milk. Of course, I've never made this recipe before, so I don't really know what the consistency of the batter is supposed to be like. All right, we're gonna bake this in a 375 degree oven. For muffins, it says 30 to 35 minutes with this spread out in cake form. I don't know how long. And we're also supposed to sprinkle some brown sugar on top. All right, after about 45 minutes in the oven, it's all baked. Before I put it in the oven, I sprinkled some extra of those maple sugar granules on top and some cinnamon and to say it smells pretty good, so once it's cool, I'll try to wrangle up some taste testers. Taste tester! May I ask what this is? No, you may not. It's a surprise. I know you've eaten a lot today and you're not hungry, I know. I'm right there with you. I've eaten too much today, too. So you don't have to eat it all. <laughs> What's it taste like? I'm going to try a little, little bit, but I've, okay. I've eaten way too much today. No, it's not pumpkin. Ooh, it is good. What? Yes. That's why our prop of a giant butternut squash is sitting here. You like Very, it? Mm-hmm. Very good. Butternut squash, ginger, coconut, muffins. You taste the ginger? Yes. And the coconut? Mm-hmm. I think the coconut is giving it a very excellent, special secret oomph. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you think very that's good. a keeper of a recipe? Yes. I do good. too. Thank that's you. really good. Try that. It's squash season. Thank you. Thank you. Have some more. Yeah, have as much as you want. It really is good, isn't it? I know. For people who have eaten too much today, we're just... Mm. Thank you. Thumbs up, people.